But before all of that, tonight's top story. Dissident Republican bombers have struck again, this time in London Derry, where a taxi driver was forced at gunpoint to drive a bomb in his car to Strandrove Police Station. It exploded in the early hours of this morning, just minutes after the alarm was raised. The PSNI said the device contained £200 of explosives. Gareth Wilkinson sent this report from the scene. The scene of devastation just minutes after the bomb exploded. This burning wreckage, all that was left of a taxi, turned into a car bomb. Earlier it was hijacked by two armed and masked men in the Long Tower area. They loaded the bomb into the boot. A gun was placed to the taxi driver's head. He was ordered to drive the device to Strand Road Police Station or be shot. He abandoned the car there just before 3 o'clock this morning and raised the alarm. At around the same time, the PSNI received a 45-minute warning from the dissident group Ogden Heron. But within 20 minutes, the device exploded. Police were still trying to evacuate the area. A takeaway opposite the police station was destroyed. The owner just managed to escape in time. Thank God we get out quick. In five minutes, just we hear the, and they see the car blew up and, you know, thank God we are safe, like. It must have been very, very frightening. Oh, yes. Absolutely, I'm still shocking, like, and, you know, on, I don't, see the, now the business what's happened to the shop probably it's just completely destroyed like you know no one was injured but this was a large bomb it contained 200 pounds of homemade explosives it's believed the real ira are responsible it's utter madness to place a bomb in a populated inner city street in the middle of the night and put the lives of police officers the lives of local residents the lives of local business uh, people at risk. No, there was completely inadequate time and again I would say that the police did a tremendous job in evacuating as they did. The explosion here was heard right across the city and such was the force of the blast that even the heavily fortified walls of Strand Road Police Station were damaged. That was the dissident's target. The surrounding buildings and businesses have also been damaged. This is the moment that Derry won the City of Culture title. This morning's events were in stark contrast to these scenes of jubilation just last month. The bomb has shattered the positive atmosphere that success has generated. There's anger that a city looking forward to a brighter future has been dragged back 